We're live down here at ground level. An amazing win by the Scorchers. They've beaten the Stars. They're into the big final. I've got the coach with me, Justin Langer. J.L., how are you feeling at this moment? I'm so thrilled. Uh, we knew it was going to be a big game against the Stars. The last couple of games, the boys have been really clinical in what they've done. Um, that said, Mitchell Johnson's spell, is a, you don't see that very often in uh, T20 cricket. So just goes to show again that senior class players uh, are great in big occasions. You've played a lot yourself and now coaching T20. Just that spell, I mean, describe what you were feeling. You know, were you expecting it? What was going on? Well, you never expect that. We knew that the the big points of the game were going to be their top three batsmen, how we bowled in the power play overs, then how we batted. We've had trouble against the Stars because we've lost wickets when we've batted in the power play. So to, have, to start off so well, and most importantly to get their danger men out like we did, was just massive, yeah, great. And the batting performance, obviously, Sean Marsh, outstanding. What else did you take out of the way the boys batted? Well, again, Sean just goes to show, a bit like Adam Vogus in the last innings in Hobart, that you're never right off class. Like He didn't have a great start coming back from a broken finger, but he's just such a class player. He, we're going to miss him for the final, there's no doubt about that, but I'm just so pleased for him. He's one of the you know really good people you meet in cricket, like all the Marsh family. And to see him help us get us in the semi-finals, a great credit to him. You talk about missing some players for the final, even at the start of the season, missing guys like Coulton Isle and Berendorf. It'd be putting on the back foot, but tell me about the resilience of the group to push through all these little challenges and, and be now at the final. Yeah, look, I think that's where... I was asked out yesterday about what the secret is for our um, consistent success, and there's no secret. We just we keep backing in good people. We keep backing in our depth. We keep backing in our West Australian program. And because of that, we've had some good success. So it's nice to see other guys step up and, and, and do well as well. Very happy at the moment, obviously. What's the mindset now? You're heading into the final. You've got a long way to go, obviously, till Saturday. But what, what's next? Well, the biggest worry, to be honest, was that we, had a, we, we played in uh, Hobart a long flight home and then only one day. So we've got a bit of time for our senior players to, to really recuperate and be ready. So we've got, like I said, we've got a great bunch of people uh, in the playing ranks and out of the playing ranks uh, who help us out. So we'll prepare well and we'll just make sure we're, uh, we're ready and relaxed and focused for Saturday. For all the fans and everyone at the Wacker, mate, congratulations and we're looking forward to Saturday. No, not as much as we are. Thanks, mate. Good on you, mate. Down at ground level, we've got Sam Whiteman. Sam, opening the batting, it's uh, not too hard, is it? Yeah, I like getting out the top. Um, only two fielders out and um, nice hard ball. So, yeah, enjoying it at the moment and, um, you know, it's awesome. One, one more win away. And how does it feel being in that big final now? It's so much success over the years. How does this one compare? Yeah, it's pretty good, obviously. Um, you know, last week, um, you know, we probably had to win one more game and might have missed the final. So to, the last couple of games have been pretty clinical. So, um, you know, it's all leading to one more game. And, um, you know, it's going to be good to see uh, a double header as well with the, um, with the female sports just making as well. So it's going to be a big day. Definitely. And the group just appears like they've got a lot of confidence at the moment. Is that because of the last few weeks or just the season you've had overall? I think a bit of both. Um, I think it helps when you've got um, you take three wickets for none in the first couple of overs. I think uh, you know it's hard to knock your confidence off from there. So um, T20 cricket, uh, the first couple of overs are so important. Um, if you start well, you can really bury teams. Now you had the perfect view for that first over. Tell us what it was like seeing Jono steam in. It's always a it's always a good view from where I am. It's not so much in the nets when you're batting against him. So um, yeah, it was awesome to watch him tonight um, do his stuff, and that's amazing figures. Uh, I haven't seen anything like that. So um, he bowled seriously well. And Sean Marsh, you got to bat with him for a little while as well. Um, looked pretty impressive, didn't he? Unfortunately, we won't have him for the final. Yeah, he's um, you know, the last couple of games he's really batted well. Um, he's just come out and um, I guess just timed him really well, which um, he's been hitting the ball um, quite nice the last month and just hasn't got that score. So for him to get a couple of scores and help us get to the big dance, it's been awesome. And um, I'm sure he did well for Australia. And he's one of the furnace favourites, Sean Marsh, an outstanding innings to get the boys home. Tell us about the feeling now going into another big final. Yeah, look, it's fantastic for the boys. Uh, you know, we've played some really good cricket over the last couple of uh, games and, uh, you know, to, to come out and uh, beat the Stars uh, really convincingly like that was a um, fantastic effort. You know, once again, I thought the bowls set the game up for us. Mitchell Johnson was unbelievable tonight, along with the rest of the guys, and, you know, made our job a lot easier as bad as when you're chasing 136. You've played a lot of big bash, IPL. Have you ever seen anything like that first over from Jono? No, nah, not at all. As I said, it's probably one of the best spells, uh, spells of bowling I've ever seen in T20 cricket. Three for three, it's un unheard of really, but um, you know, not surprising from you know, one, of the, one of the greatest fast bowlers that we've produced. So um, you know, I'm really happy for Mitch. He's worked really hard and um, you know, his performances uh, throughout this tournament have been fantastic.
And for yourself, you mentioned a few times you've been feeling really good in the nets. Nice to get the rewards tonight and obviously unfortunate that you can't come into the final with the boys uh, as part of the ODI squad. Yeah, look, I'm looking forward to going away with the one-day squad. Unfortunately, missed out on Saturday, but um, yeah, the guys will be fine. Uh, you know, they've played some really good cricket and deserve to be in the final. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to watching him um, hopefully have a win. And how have you seen the, the lead in? I mean, obviously a really good performance tonight. The last two weeks as well, the group must have a lot of confidence uh, after those. Yeah, we do have a lot of confidence. We, we trust each other and um, you know, just try and play as a, as a team and um, you know, enjoy each other's success. And uh, you know, it's fantastic to, to be in another grand final. You know, we've, we pride ourselves on you know, uh, playing some really tough cricket and um, you know, in big games and uh, you know, another big game tonight and with a win. And uh, as I said, it's really exciting now. Uh, we've got a good couple of days before Saturday and I'm you know, sure the boys will be right to go. We asked you earlier about the secret to so much success over the years. Is there anything that you can sort of pinpoint that's led to just consistently good results in the Big Bash tournaments? Uh, not really. We just try and you know, play as a team, as I said, and um, enjoy each other's success. And we, we, uh, we work really hard as a group, and um, you know, we just really trust each other's game out there. Uh, we trust each other to get the job done, and um, we just we really enjoy each other's company. So uh, you know, we're all really close, tight knit group, and. Uh, as I said, it's just really exciting now to, to, to give, us, give ourselves another chance at, at um, you know, um, a title. And finally, if you, will you get to spend much time with the boys? Are you, uh, sort of what's your plan for the next few days? Yeah, look, I'll leave on Thursday night. So, um, yeah, look, I'll enjoy a um, couple of days with my family and um, uh, you know, uh, get ready for a long stint away. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. All the best for the ODI series, mate. Cheers, thank you. All good, mate. Thanks, buddy. All good. That's it from the furnace. We've got to chat to Sean Marsh, Justin Langer, and Sam Whiteman, some of the big stars. But Saturday, we will be back here. It's going to be a double header. We've got the WBBL and the Big Bash finals. Lots of success for the Scorchers. We'll see you on Saturday.